Hello children, in today's assignment, you need the rhyme time book, capital letters and little explore. Today, you are going to learn a new rhyme, Seesaw. First, you will repeat after me all the words and then we will sing together. Are you all ready? Seesaw. I hope you have all seen this play equipment. It's called a seesaw. When you go to a public park, you can see the seesaw. One child will sit up and the other child will sit down. Okay. Now repeat after me. Seesaw, hurry. Seesaw, hurry, up and down. Seesaw, hurry, up and down. Which is the way to London town? Which is the way to London town? One foot up and the other foot down. One foot up and the other foot down. And that is the way to London town. And that is the way to London town. Did you all repeat after me? Now you will sing along with me. Okay. Seesaw hurry up and down. Which is the way to London town? Seesaw hurry up and down. Which is the way to London town? One foot up and the other foot down. That is the way to London town. One foot up and the other foot down. That is the way to London town. I hope you enjoyed the rhyme children. Keep practicing. Now turn to page 36 of Little Explorer book. In the previous assignments you have learnt about a neighborhood places. Let me see if you remember which place is this. It's a post office. This is a restaurant where we all go and have our food. This is a park where you can go for a walk and children can play around. And this is the hospital. This is the place you go to get treated when you are sick. Now we have to draw a line and match each person to his place of work. These are the people who work in these places. Now let's see where does the gardener work. Can you tell me children does the gardener work in a restaurant or in a hospital or post office or a park. Where does the gardener work? Yes he works in the park. He waters the plants in the park and helps to keep the park neat and clean. Okay. Now, who is the next person standing there? She is a nurse. She is a nurse. Now, where does the nurse work? Does the nurse work in school? No. Does the nurse work in post office? No. Then, where does she work? Yes, you are right. She works in the hospital. So, let's join the nurse to the hospital. The nurse works in the hospital and helps the doctor and the patients. Now, who is this person? He is a chef. Where does the chef work? Very good. The chef works in a restaurant. He prepares the food for us. Now, who is this person? He is a postman. Postman works in the post office and delivers the letters and couriers to people around. Okay, so we will join the postman to the post office. Once you are done, we will go to the next assignment. Now what do we have here? Again, we have to match each person to his place of work. Who is this? Can you tell me? Yes, he is a police officer. Where does a police officer work? In the police station, where is it? Here. Police officer helps us to stay safe and catches hold of thieves and robbers. Now, who is this? She is a teacher. Teacher teaches students at the school. So, let's join teacher to school. Now, who is this person? Yes, he is a fireman. Fireman works in the fire station and puts off the fire when the building or a house catches the fire. So let's join the fireman to the fire station. Ok children. Now take out your capital letters book and we will revise all the alphabets from A to S. 
okay by now i'm sure you all can write independently first we'll join the dots which letter is this a a for apple next which letter is this b b for ball c c for cow d d for dog e e for elephant f f for fish which letter is this g g for gorilla what's the next letter h h for horse okay once you finish all the dotted lines here you will complete the rest of the lines all the lines and then we'll go to the next set of alphabet which alphabet is this i i for iguana j j for jam k k for kite l l for lion what comes after l m m for mouse n n for nose o o for ostrich once again children once you finish all the dotted lines you will complete rest of the lines okay and then we'll move to the next set of alphabets this is p p for parrot p for penguin and this is q q for queen q for quail r r for rabbit r for rose the next letter is s s for snake once you finish this you'll write the remaining lines and complete the whole page okay children that's it for today's assignment thank you bye bye